Welcome to GardenWise Adventures. My name is Malie and today we are actually going to do another plant of the week. It's the first one for 2020. It's early spring, it's mid-March, and I want to show you what's blooming. Okay, so here we are in my front yard and we have several things blooming. So the plants of the plant of the week is going to actually be plants of the week this year and that is the spring blooming bulbs. Now, sorry for all the noise. This is, of course, the quarantine period and we've got kids outside and chickens are laying eggs. It's a great day to be out. But anyway, let's go over what is blooming. So the first thing we have is our earliest blooming daffodil. Um, I will put the name of this daffodil on the screen, but this is one of the earliest blooming ones. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I have early se season, mid season, and late season daffodils so that I get an extended bloom season. One of the earliest bulbs to bloom is my iris reticulata or rock iris. They are tiny and they are cute. Let me see if I can show you the size by comparing it to my hands. Now look how pretty that is. Let me show you a few others. Now here's another one. I love the yellow on their petals. And I just have these sporadically scattered throughout the yard. Here's another variety that's a little more uh, kind of violet purple. And it's got a smaller flower. Next is the crocuses. Crocuses start blooming after the rock iris absolutely gorgeous plants. Lots of different colors as you can see in there. We've got white and purple. Now the thing about crocuses is they do not open up if there's no sunshine. We've got the light purple, the dark purple, And here we have some more in my front yard. So if you want early, uh, early blooming plants, go for the rock irises and the crocuses and the early blooming daffodils. Now the thing I love most about spring blooming shrubs is beyond planting them, there really is no other maintenance. I do throw a little bit of fertilizer on them after they are done blooming. But that is it. And usually those get fertilized when any of my other plants get fertilized, which I don't fertilize very many of them. And we'll talk about that in another video. But um, I will also link at the top of the screen a video showing uh, how I planted these. I planted these last fall and I did a video on it. Planting them is really quick and easy. So they're a great plant to have in the early spring. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and Enjoy yourself in this beautiful weather and have a wonderful garden adventure.